Hello all, today I thought I would show you something new and unique to the channel, that being my Gage 1 collection. As you may know, Gage 1 is the same scale that the original show was filmed with, and over the years I have acquired various amounts of accessories. This all started back in early 2020, when a friend and I found a Facebook Marketplace listing with a large range of Gage 1 items. This included buildings, engines, rolling stock, and much more. We decided to visit the seller twice, as he lived very close to my uni house. He told us everything you see here was once his father's, and used to run in the backyard. I believe a few members of the fandom went to this house and purchased items too. I myself helped purchase some for people in the USA. But there was so much here and I'm not too sure what happened to it all. My collection consists of this lovely tow brake van. It has lovely detail all round, including the cab with the lovely handbrake. But it also includes this feature, that when you switch on the battery pack at the bottom, the lights turn on. How cool is that? Next up we have the fuel tanker, much like the tar wagon seen in the show. I believe this tanker is a 10 mile one, which means it's the same kit from the show, but I'm not too sure if it is 10 mile. Some of the stickers are starting to peel off, but I don't mind that as I'll replace them to say tar at a later date. I also own these two trucks, the first being this lovely red one that was a part of a company in Cornwall. When I look at trucks like this, it always disappoints me the show never used any branded trucks for places on Sodal. The next truck is one I bought on eBay back in 2018. It's a basic one with not much detail, but it's neat nonetheless. Next, we have the flatbed, carrying its essentials. Not sure what the brand is on this one, but it uses completely different screw links in comparison to the rest of the rolling stock I have. Then, we have the CT van, and wow, this is one of my favourites. This was an item that made me realise how massive the sets on Thomas must have been, because this thing is huge. Just look at it next to its OO scale counterpart. Next, we have this smaller truck, like the M wagon seen in the show. It's nice and cute, and I currently use it to store all my Gage 1 accessories. Here's a little comparison with his height in comparison to the other trucks. And then there is the salt wagon. These are really cool, and I believe we don't see them in the show until Series 4. There is some amazing detail in this model too, with little chains hanging off the doors, brake accessories, I just think that's really nice. Now onto the accessories I own. First off we have this little coal loader, which would be placed on a side in, and looks really nifty when an engine is next to it. But the main event is the signal box, which is incredibly detailed. It's seen its age a bit now, but still looks great. I'm not too sure if Gentleshaw was a real place, but this is its signal box. There's even detail inside with a signalman, switches, and a table he can nap at. Oh, hang on, you can't really see inside, let me flick this switch. That's right, this signal box has lights included inside, which would look amazing for nighttime shoots. And finally, on to the main event. Here is my custom work in progress, Thomas. I've been working on this as a side project for many years now, but I'm hoping to finish him soon. We now live in this age where everyone can 3D print show accurate models. But when I started this guy, this just wasn't the case. I have considered commissioning a show accurate Thomas, but I want to finish this guy first because I've worked so hard on him and it would be a shame just to waste that. There will be a full video on him once he's complete. He does run, but currently needs more weight in his front end for him to be able to move more easily. I'm considering adding car weights at the front as this is something I have easy access to. He also has three faces, which are original face casts from the show. These were painted by Jacob Jarrett, aka Flying Pringle. Big thanks to him. And there you have it. This was something I've wanted to share for a while, and who knows, if this does well, maybe I'll do more videos in this scale in the future. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, or even leaving a like and a comment. It really does help the channel. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I shall see you in the next one.